Assalamu alaikum to the honorable and respected teachers and to everyone who are present here. It's wonderful to see you all. Hope you all are pretty good. This is me Sunita from Learning In. Today we are gathered here to celebrate our resolution day which is also known as a Republic Day. So first of all a very happy Republic Day to all of you. And I'm really grateful for this opportunity which Sir Kashif has given me to speak on this auspicious day. So thank you so much sir. So as you all know guys that resolution day is celebrated on 23rd March every year with great zeal and enthusiasm. The day is special in the sense that the Muslims of the subcontinent gathered at one platform by showing the unity and brotherhood and they demand a separate nation for themselves. The subcontinent was under the rule of British Empire. The great philosopher Alama Iqbal and the founder of Pakistan, Qaeda Azam Muhammad Ali Jinnah knew that Muslims won't be able to protect their fundamental right under the British rule. So the philosopher Alama Iqbal suggested the creation of a separate nation. Our heroes like Qaeda Azam Muhammad Ali Jinnah, Maulana Ali Johar, Sir Sayyid Ahmed Khan and many other leaders give courage and motivate the Muslim to demand a separate nation for themselves and to fight for their fundamental right and at last on 23rd March 1940 at Minto Park the Lahore resolution was passed which was rejected the concept of United India and accepted the creation of an independent nation, nation for Muslims. The reason behind the creation separation is that Hindu and Muslims, they both are different communities. Their religions are different, their philosophies are different, their cultures are different, their worships are different, their marriages are different. They are totally different from each other. That is the reason Muslims demand a separate nation for themselves where they can do worship according to their religion or where they can live with the freedom of expression. Our heroes, our Muslims and our soldiers had made many sacrifices struggle and effort to achieve this nation and then at last on 14 august 1947 pakistan came into existence that was the remarkable achievement for their effort pakistan is a precious gift for us from our ancestors but what we are giving them in return for their phenomenal accomplishment we are giving them nothing except criticize this country we are ungrateful to this country the circumstances of our country is becoming worse and worse day by day. The, target, the crime rates are increasing whether they, this is target killing, harassment, kidnapping, rape, robbery, snatching, etc. Unemployment is increasing day by day. People are moving abroad to, to make their future bright. Education system of our country is not good. That's why illiteracy is increasing. Extortion is there. Uh, extortion is there and Immodesty is taking place rather than discipline. Atrocious and outrageous cruelties are taking place in our country. So who is responsible for all these troubles? You would say government is responsible. I know that government has much power and if it wants so it can change the nation in one night. But, but being a citizen it's also our responsibility to protect our country from evil lies. Our ancestor had set an example of brotherhood and unity. They proved that with exuberance and with enthusiasm, you can achieve everything in your life. <coughs> you can achieve everything in your life. If they could fight and demand a separate nation for themselves and achieve that, so why don't we raise our voice for the injustice? Why can't we fight for the fundamental right? Why can't we fight for the trouble that we are bearing in this country? Seriously guys, if we become united, so no one can break our unity. We have to acknowledge our problem rather than neglecting them. If we are neglecting them now, so obviously they will trouble us sooner or later. In the end, I would, urge, I would like to urge Pakistanis that remember the spirit of our Muslim and remember the message of Kai to see this nation educated to see faith, discipline and democracy in this society. Pakistan needs our support. It's our responsibility to secure our country. In the end, I would recite two beautiful lines. Okay,